Hey, hi friends. Welcome back to my channel, Roshan at ETL Station. Today we are going to see uh, how to use the synchronization task. So to create a synchronization task, uh, we can go to new. And here is the synchronization task. Synchronization task is uh, it's more like you can you can sync synchronize the data between source or target to integrate the application databases and files. So it's a similar. Uh, so we will see what are the options here we can see. So just choose this. Go to the task and choose this synchronization task. Say create, and let's give it like uh, m underscore sync. We can just give it mct maybe synchronization. So it's a task, so we can just, and what is the task operation you want to do it? Uh, so you have multiple option. You have like, you you can, it's between move, it's, it's two to synchronize source and target, right? So you can have the insert, you can have update, you can have upsert or deletes. We'll see all of them one by one. Let's go with insert first. Say next. And then it's asking which connection you want to use. So see, you, you can use source connection as a flat file also, Oracle also. I mean, relational also you can use and you can use the target also. So I'm, I'm going to show you uh, maybe, uh, okay, let's do it one time with the flat file to target. And then we will, so when I'm choosing the flat file, you see, uh, when I'm choosing the flat file, you see this multiple and saved query options are not coming. When, when you choose the relational, then these options will come because you can choose the multiple uh, multiple sources and you can also write the queries to join the table and pull the query. We'll see all those things. First, we'll check with the flat file. So flat file, and then what is the source object in the flat file? And uh, this one, this source file is looking at my source file directory. So let me go to source file. I have these many sources. Let me see. Uh, it's asking me to select to which source you want to pull. So I need to pull which source. So let me pull this one, employee underscore SAP. And it will show you, uh, show here the data. So it's showing me that employee underscore SAP has this data. And I have formatting option, all these are there. So I selected one of the source and I'm going to next. And then it's asking me, what is your target? Do you want to write into flat file again, or do you want to write into a uh, target uh, schema? And then also, uh, so let's choose the, do I have employee underscore SAP in the target? No, okay. Let me first create employee uh, source SAP table in the target schema also. Let me choose it, go to the target. And uh, this is how you create the Oracle table. So I'm just creating the table so that, okay, now I have that same target here also so that I can load the data. Okay, so it's now empty. My target is empty and here here is the one we are going to uh, load the data. So let's choose the Oracle target. And what is the target object? Uh, SRC underscore SAP, which we just now created. Do you want to truncate table? No, I don't want to truncate it because later we want to see the how, how to run update also. So right now I'm not choosing it. I don't want to bring, I want to show you guys how to, how the update operation will work, uh, update else insert will work, right? That's why I'm not choosing truncate. So say, okay, next. Next, it is, uh, it, it, it can, uh, since it is flat file, it is not giving me all these option, how many uh, rows you want to put, but it has the data filter. You can define the data filter here, like suppose you want to put any filter in the source table, like uh, your, what do we have in the data? Let's see, what is the data? Let's say if you want to say that uh, employee at equal to 30, so you can filter those table also here and you can choose like here 30, and then it will only load one one table. So you have, so basically till now what we have seen in synchronization task, you can use the relational or flat file, 
but the uh, in in flat file it is allowing you to choose only one source and uh, one target but in relational it was allowing allowing you we will see that option also so let's uh, finish it fast and here it's uh, Okay, here we have employee ID, employee name, and it's mapped. See here, it's already mapped. That employee ID is mapped to employee ID, employee name is mapped to employee name, status is mapped to employee, source city is mapped to, there's this country, country column in the source that is not mapped to anything, that's fine, right? You, you are okay with that. And let's see that, do we have any primary key in that? We don't have any primary key in the target table. So right now, Insert will work, but for update, we have to choose it next, we'll see here. So, and the same thing, like any any of the tasks, you can schedule it, you can have this uh, email notification to your email address, you can give your Gmail or whatever you want after this succeeds or fails, you can choose these options. And then pre-session and post-session for your uh, scripting query, like creating the list file or something. Parameter file you can give here, and then next, where do we define the option? Okay, you have here maplet option also. You can uh, you can use the maplet also here, and you can choose if you have any maplet here. Right now, I don't have any maplet, so I am not able to. You have to edit the type here if you want to change any. Uh, precision and all, which is not same as a target. You can choose it. So next, for insert, it is not asking us what is the primary key you want to define manually, but for update, we will see. First, we'll load it quickly so that it doesn't take too much time in video. Let's run it and go to the My Jobs, see what's doing. So it's running right now and uh, we should have the data loaded and then we will change the data. See here, only 30 got loaded because we had put the filter. Edit it. So if you remember, we had put the filter as 30. Go to next, again next. Here, that's, what, that's the reason it loaded only one, one row in the target. So let's uh, remove that filter. I don't want any filter. Or let it be that filter, right? You will, you will, at least you will learn that, yeah, filter is working. So let's go back and change the operation in the source. So how I'm doing, how, how, how I went uh, to this one, existing mapping, you can say edit. And that's how we, I, from the start here, you have task operation, right? You can do update also. Let's learn how to do update. And when you do update, one new property will come. See here, update column. This property was not there uh, when we were doing the insert, right? So now it has come up because in, the, in your uh, Oracle, there's no primary key defined. So you have to manually tell IICS that on which column you want to update the data. So employee ID is kind of unique for us. So we can go with employee ID. So you can add the employee ID here. That that's my primary key because for update, we need one column, right, to update. So that's why we are choosing employee ID and say finish. And let's change some data here for 30. Let's make it as a, SAP one, and it should get updated because we are running the update, uh, update, uh, update operation, right? So let's, uh, and now I can show you that what is the data, it's SAP. This should become SAP one. So we'll go here and we'll run it. Say okay, and let's go and check it. Whether it's see here, it's SAP. Let's refresh it. See here, it updated to SAP one. So synchronization task you can uh, you can use it if it's very simple, like with filter 
or just join with the queries those kind of operations if you want to do it right it's very good uh, task you can use it it has filter option it can do insert and update it can uh, it can do both also it can it can delete also let's try to delete uh, we have another option update else insert this can do both update or insert so let's try this option also so what we will do we will remove the filter so that we can get one insert row also. Right now only one row is getting inserted, right? So let's remove it and change something back. Let's make it as a SAP2. So what it will do, this row should get uh, updated and this row should get inserted. That's how we will learn how, how this upsert is working. Insert and update both. And here see primary key is showing employee ID because that's uh, based on that only we are updating it. So let's uh, see it. So this should get updated to SAP2 and one new row should it. So this is update and one new will be insert. So it's this is doing right now both. It's doing insert and update both. See here, we are choosing the upsert. Upsert means it can do both insert or update. So this is good for your SCD type one also, right? Because it's able to do the SCD type one where the slowly changing dimension method. Let's let me run it again. I think I did not want to. So let's see, it's running right now. Let's see, see here, if this one got updated because it's update and this one got inserted and one new row because we've removed the filter. So that's how you can use it uh, for absurd. Now let's go and uh, choose the delete, how to delete the rows. So since we are using delete, it's gonna delete both the rows. Let's see what it does and finish it because both the IDs are in the source and both the IDs are in the target. So I delete should delete both both the rows in the target. See here, it deleted it, right? So this is how you can use the synchronization task uh, for insert, for update, for up, uh, upsert, which is insert and update both and delete also. This will be useful when uh, uh, when you have like a city type one that time you can use. Now let's go back and quickly see that uh, how to choose uh, uh, when we are using the Oracle. So let's have the insert option next. And let's choose here instead of flat file, I want to choose the Oracle source because I have the same table here. And here, see in the source, you have you can choose uh, you can choose single source, or you can choose multiple source also. Two sources you can uh, you can choose, but then you have to create the relationship. Let's let let me, let me choose the uh, SAP Oracle because this also has the same same kind of structure. This my both these tables have same structure. If I go to source and I go to SAP. It has the same structure as your Oracle. So similar structure is there. So I can I can choose them. And I can uh, uh, I can join them. Right? Because two tables are there, then uh, so let's create the relationship. Uh, source keys employee ID. Object is source oracle, object ID is employee ID. Okay, uh, relationship, when, when we are creating the relationship, the same employee ID needs to be in the other table also or something. So I have to create then one row which is in the both the table. So 20 is here, do I have 20 here? I have 20 here, right? So it will be able to join that 20 with 20. Here I have duplicate, let me remove it. 
So this 20 Ram would be able to join with 20 Vivek, but then it will ask me, we, see this employee ID is same, right? 20 and 20 here. But then it will ask me employee name is different. So which one to take from Oracle or from SAP? So that we can choose it here. So employee ID we are joining, joining so 20 will match with 20. But uh, what about the column from which table we need to check that will single I'm not choosing because single is very simple, right? I mean, you know that how to pick up from one source. And uh, so subject join condition, uh, do we need to create relationship here also? Uh, okay, let's see that without re creating relations support. So trunk, uh, yeah, SAP is fine. And we don't want any data filter I don't want. See, now it's coming here. Uh, this is coming from source SAP. And this employee ID is coming from SRC Oracle. And this one, let's, uh, I think it's automatically a map to the SAP Oracle. Let's remove it here. And employee ID, I can take it from anywhere. I can choose it from SAP Oracle. But employee name, I will choose it from uh, SAP Oracle. The status also and source ID also. So I'm not taking employee name, status, and source CD from the SAP Oracle. SAP Oracle has value as uh, uh, RAM and SAP. I'm taking from Oracle. So I should get Vivek and Oracle in my target table. Target table is nothing but here, which is empty right now. So let's see. Go to the next. Now that's fine. Say finish. Let's run it. Go to my jobs. See, 20 has come, but it, it did not take value from SAP. SAP had value as a RAM. I did not take it, right? I took uh, a name from Oracle, SAP Oracle. So Vivek and Oracle have come in your target. This is my target, TGT database. See, 20 has come, but Vivek and Oracle has come. So this is how you can do, do the, uh, choose the multiple join option. And then you have another option here from the relational, where you can use the saved query also. Uh, the source connection selected has no associated. Please change, please use a different source connection. Okay, we for this option to be choose save the query, you need to create uh, one object uh, source query object. I think one minute, cancel it. New component so save the query is there. This one we have to we have to first create a save the query. So you can create one save the query. We can quickly create a data type is Oracle and save the query. We can say select uh, uh, a dot. Uh, let me get it real quick. Why to create uh, quick TDL. Remove it. And go to source. And get the select. So this uh, and uh, inner join with uh, Oracle object name, okay, uh, on, and we can call this as a A, we can call this as a B. So simple join query we are doing, A dot uh, employee ID equal to B dot employee ID. And uh, we can choose here A dot employee ID, but uh, again the, employee name and all I want from B, B dot status and uh, B dot source ID. So this query, we can choose it in the saved query option and we can save it, get columns here based on the source. Uh, so I'm choosing from source. So say, okay, this will give me the column. See, it automatically came. So this is my saved query, let's save it. 
Okay, now we go back to our uh, uh, synchronization task here, edit. Now we will get that option that uh, use this uh, saved query. I have saved query one, right, which I just created. So see, it's coming. And saved query is automatically it's giving me that what is your query is going to return here. So it's giving me already here. So if I go to my target and right now I have Oracle, let me update it uh, manually to A, B, C, D. And here I update it to daily or something. Something you update, it doesn't matter. Right? So right now this is what the value has. So let's see what it is doing because we have insert as the operation, right? So I don't know what it is going to do. Is it going to update it or it just going to uh, do nothing because uh, you have chosen insert option. We have chosen insert option, right? Mapping field is empty. Okay, removed all this. Why do you solve this? Is there? Let's do the auto map because same columns uh, names are there, right? So smart map, save next and uh, finish it. And let's run it. I really should not be doing anything because I'm not choosing any insert option. Let me see what it is. It's saying one, did it update it? Okay, see it inserted a new row because we are choosing insert. So it went ahead and inserted a duplicate row because in my table, I don't have primary key. So if you want the same, same record to be updated, then you would have chosen the update operation. Right now it is in insert. So we should have chosen the uh, upsert option is the best option because it can do both, right? So say finish and let's delete this uh, Vivek and then you will see that it will update. Uh, oh, did we choose that uh, primary key or not? Because in ups, uh, update and upsert, you have to choose the primary key. Yeah, primary key is there. Okay, say finish, run it. Go to the, the job. Now uh, Vivek will get updated here. See here, Vivek and Araka. So this is how you can use the uh, synchronization task. It's very good if you have like some a query result to be taken or flat file is there. Flat file, it can do the single, uh, single flat file with the filter. And for the relational, it can do uh, join with the query or multiple tables join or single table join. It can do insert, it can do update, it can do absurd, it can do delete. So I would say that uh, it's it basically it can work for your SCD type one, right? SCD type one is slowly changing dimension one where you don't want to maintain history. So for that purpose, it can. So it's very easy. You don't have to create mapping and all. Yeah, it's very easy. Like uh, when it is table to table or flat file to table, all those operations are there. So you can use it. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, that helps me to grow my youtube channel and uh, motivates me to create more videos for you see you in the next video uh, see you guys thank you